The crypto market is back on fire again. Look at this. Dogecoin hit nearly 30 cents. 0.2835, almost 30 cents. We finally broke a level of resistance that we have not been able to break for quite some time. This is a very good sign for Dogecoin. Not only that, Shiba Inu is continually pumping despite a lot of FUD that's happening with Elon Musk drama with Shiba Inu, Dogecoin. We're gonna be getting into that in just a second, but look at this, Bitcoin is continuing to go back up to the all-time highs. We are seeing Ethereum pump. The whole crypto market is on fire. We're gonna be talking about some other cryptocurrencies as you know, we always do on this channel. So make sure you watch this video until the very end. I have some groundbreaking information that you cannot miss. What is up, Miles? It is ladies and gentlemen here. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you do not miss these time sensitive videos where I call out huge plays way before they happen. If you love cryptocurrencies, make sure you smash up the like button and blow up the comment section with things you like, you don't like. Let me know your thoughts below. If you wanna get access to my trade alerts when I'm buying and selling cryptocurrencies, join my Patreon where I have over 2,000 happy members where we make money like crazy. In my Patreon, I give you my hidden insights with technical analysis into the market nearly every single day so that you know what's going on at all times. I additionally have other services where you can talk to me on the phone. We can build a portfolio for you or even go over your current portfolio on the phone and move some things around so you can be set up in the best position possible for this bull run. And one last thing, if you want a great platform to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, use my Webull link below. If you sign up through my link and deposit $1, Using my link, they will send you two free stocks that can be worth up to $2,300. So let's go ahead and dive straight into the content, but make sure you also follow my Instagram and my Twitter where I do put very good and important information for free there as well. So first and foremost, let's take a look at CoinMarketCap where we can have an overview of what cryptos are performing and how are they looking. So Solana, luckily we were able to buy Solana when it was super cheap. We are up nearly 40, 50, even 60% in just the last couple of weeks with Solana. So the last seven days, Solana is up 40%. The only other cryptocurrency that is up to that degree is actually beating it is Shiba Inu by 41.35. Shiba Inu is actually down from its highs because of an Elon Musk tweet that I will be getting to in just a moment. So do not worry about that. But also look at this. The past 24 hours, we are seeing Chainlink up 10%. Chainlink has been taking off like crazy. Avalanche up 8%. A lot of these we just bought on the Patreon the other day. So we're in significant profits already. But look at this, Bitcoin outpacing pretty much the top 10 cryptocurrencies up nearly 6%. Ethereum slowly lagging behind at 4% in gains. If we scroll all the way down, we can see other cryptocurrencies that are performing well, such as Algorand, um, we also have Axie Infinity up 8.5% today. Near Protocol, 26%. Let's continue to go down and see if there's any big ones that we are happy with. Uh, that's pretty much it for the most part, but everything is looking quite green today. And the overall, the entire crypto market is up nearly 5%. We are nearing a $3 trillion market cap for cryptocurrencies. And this is absolutely amazing and a great sight to see. So as you know, in my videos, we always do technical analysis because technical analysis is where we look at the chart and based on patterns, based on psychological patterns, which we see, we can have a good understanding of whether things are bullish, whether things are bearish, where things could potentially go. The first thing that we need to look at when coming to understand whether you should buy or sell your altcoins or understanding any cryptocurrencies, first look at Bitcoin. See how Bitcoin is performing because the way and based on how Bitcoin is performing can dictate how potential and how well your altcoins can perform. So Bitcoin saw a decent correction from the all-time highs, which were approximately $68,000. And that correction was a maximum of 12% from the top to the bottom. Now, what we are doing is we are absolutely bouncing off of that support line, which we saw the last couple of days, primarily yesterday, which we did put a buy alert out. So if you would have bought Bitcoin on the buy alert in the Patreon, you'd be up already 7% in profits in a very short period of time. For Bitcoin to move 7% is a very good sign to see, and it's a sign that the market is very strong, that the bull run has not left and is still here. Additionally, what I want to take a look at is the Bitcoin dominance. So the Bitcoin dominance is where we can 
see which is going to be performing, which the most of the money in the crypto market is going to. The Bitcoin dominance right now is 45.42%, which we saw the last couple of days, especially this weekend, while Shiba Inu was pumping, while some of the altcoins were pumping, Bitcoin ended up going down, having a correction, but we are getting a bounce in the Bitcoin dominance, which is a very healthy sign for this bull run, especially for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now for Bitcoin, we do have a level of resistance here, which is 63 Point six, so $63,600. Now this is a very, very bullish pattern as we are seeing a cup and handle potentially about to form. So we could get a little pullback today after this resistance level. Uh, and we might even just blow straight past it, which would be a very, very bullish sign to see. And if you see Bitcoin sit, hit nearly $64,000 today, if you see Bitcoin hit $64,000 today or in the next couple of days, you better get ready because the altcoins and the entire crypto market is going to continue this bullish pattern. Moving on to Ethereum, let's take a look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is looking very good. Just the other day, we actually touched the exact number of the all-time high. So Ethereum basically broke the all-time high just several days ago, especially when Bitcoin broke its all-time high. But I'm very confident that Ethereum, as we are forming this inverse head and shoulders, which is a strong psychological pattern that we have seen in technical analysis which generally brings a big breakout with it so ethereum is looking and is setting up for a massive run to seven to eight thousand dollars in the next 30 to 60 days i think that we will see seven to eight thousand dollars in the next 30 to 60 days so ethereum is setting up for some massive gains now we're going to be doing some more technical analysis on shiba inu and dogecoin chain we're going to be taking a look at some other cryptocurrencies in just a second but before we do so let's go ahead and take a look at some news let's take a look at what elon musk was saying in his tweets as well so bitcoin price is on the way to ninety thousand dollars five things to watch for for bitcoin this week so what we are seeing for Bitcoin is that Bitcoin right now is tracking the 2017 bull run. So I showed you guys yesterday this in my video that Bitcoin, this was the blue, the blue line is the 2017 bull run. We are seeing pretty much the same exact movements. So what we could potentially see is towards the mid of November is Bitcoin hitting $82,000, having a retracement to $60,000. Three, $64,000, which was the previous all time high, then shooting back all the way up to above $180,000. So, if we were to move according to the exact pattern of 2017, we would see similar price actions, which is something very, very good to see because we have followed it thus far all the way from July, even until now, the very exact pattern. So, I'm very confident that Bitcoin will hit, hit potentially over $150,000 to $200,000 in the next 60, 90, 120 days first quarter, maybe the end of this quarter, which is the end of December, maybe second quarter, we'll have to see. But I'm very confident that Bitcoin, at least in the next six months, will hit these type of numbers. So what else is going to be pushing up the crypto market? So the Van Eck ETF is launching today. That's why we're seeing a lot of green in the crypto market, especially in Bitcoin. Uh, there's no major exchange sell offs. So despite Bitcoin and all these cryptocurrencies hitting some pretty high numbers these past week, we're not seeing big sell offs. We're not seeing big corrections, 10 percent, 15 percent, nothing crazy. But that is a very good sign. When you see 20 or 30 percent corrections, that is not very bullish. But when you see 10 percent corrections, small little pullbacks consistently and it continues to go up, it shows you the strength of the market is very, very strong and very overall bullish now let me show you a little bit of this drama so there is drama between shiba inu and dogecoin holders and some community members with those communities i personally am not involved in any drama i don't hate any cryptocurrency i'm an investor i don't have emotions i do have a little bit of emotions attached to certain cryptos like bitcoin ethereum especially dogecoin it is my favorite community that's just my opinion that's just my opinion but other people love and fit into other communities like shiba inu or ethereum or bitcoin communities more so and that's based on their personality that's based on their investment portfolio it's based on a whole bunch of other things but putting people down because they like one cryptocurrency or that one's better or this one's better um that's not the way to go and you should never be a one coin holder in cryptocurrencies yes you may end up especially if it's a good project doing pretty well with your investments but it's always best and safest and smartest and most wise to be diversified in your portfolio which we do in the patreon having a percentage percentage of bitcoin having a percentage of ethereum having a percentage of other and arrays of altcoins so a shiba inu twitter account Ask Elon Musk, say, hey, Elon, how much SHIB are you holding? How much Shiba Inu coin are you holding? And Elon Musk came out 
and said, out of curiosity, I acquired some AC hash strings called Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Doge, and that is it. So Elon Musk only holds Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Doge. So he says, as I've said before, don't bet the farm on crypto. True value is building products and providing services to your fellow human beings, not money in any form. Um, that, that second part, it, I can agree with that to a certain degree, but not everyone is a person who can provide services and products to other people, but that's what Elon Musk does. Ethereum and Bitcoin are my biggest holdings like Elon Musk, and I think that's probably the best thing to do. That's what a lot of experienced investors, they have Bitcoin and Ethereum, their primary investments, the primary percentage allocations in their investments. The altcoins are much riskier. There's, they're more volatile like Dogecoin. They can have massive swings up and down. Having Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are less volatile and they always grow over time more consistently than any other cryptocurrencies in the world. I personally think it's the smartest thing to do having a big percentage of Bitcoin and Ethereum in your portfolio, having a small allocation, 30%, 40% or so, uh, diversified into other altcoins. Because there's times when Bitcoin and Ethereum outperform the altcoins, and then there's times where Bitcoin and Ethereum kind of lag behind. They maybe go down, they may be in a bear market while the altcoins are pumping, as we saw with Cardano and several other cryptocurrencies this past summer. And the other interesting thing is, is that Elon Musk is starting to tweet a lot, a lot about Dogecoin. I'm not gonna go into all of his tweets, but there's a lot of tweets that he's talking about Dogecoin, which is a very good and exciting thing to see. That's why if we go to the Dogecoin chart, we saw Dogecoin hit nearly 30 cents and we're actually breaking out of this cup and handle. Look at this, it's a 30 minute time frame. not very accurate when it comes to patterns and formations, but look at this. Whenever you see this cup, and then you see a little bit of pullback and setting up for a massive run. So if we actually measure the length of this cup to the top of it, which is a good way to measure what the breakout would be if we were to end up breaking out of this, this thing could easily propel us to 32 cents, which is another key level of resistance for Dogecoin. And if Dogecoin breaks 32 cents, then we would head up to the next level of resistance being 35 cents, so on and so forth, eventually hitting into the 40 cents and then 50 cents and so on breaking all time highs. So Elon Musk tweeting at this rate, the market is looking bold he's bringing back in sentiment yes he's bringing back the strong sentiment for dogecoin bringing back the community through his tweets because he stopped tweeting about dogecoin for quite some time but elon Musk started to tweet a lot about dogecoin is what actually caused dogecoin to pump up previously and his tweets affecting the market causes hype causes excitement to get back into dogecoin we could see another massive run for dogecoin this very year before the year's up we could see potentially one two or even three dollars but that is completely completely contingent upon the entire crypto market completely contingent or dependent in other words on bitcoin and ethereum their performances if bitcoin hits 150,000 or 200,000 dollars you best believe dogecoin shiba inu a lot of these cryptocurrencies that we hold will make some massive gains let me know what you think about that in the comments below. What crypto right now do you think will make the biggest gains? Let me know in the comments below the end of this year, by the end of this year. Now, Shiba Inu ended up going down yesterday. It was looking extremely bullish. We were setting it for a massive play. Ended up going down because somebody asked Elon, do you hold Shiba Inu? Uh, that probably wasn't the smartest thing because it's very obvious that Elon Musk does not hold Shiba Inu, but you never know. He could have been holding it. And if he did announce it and said that he was holding Shiba Inu, there would have been quite an uproar in the Dogecoin community. There would have been some crazy fights between the Dogecoin and Shiba Inu community, but we would potentially have seen Dogecoin go down, Dogecoin could have gone up, but we would have saw Shiba Inu probably skyrocket hundreds of percents if he would have said that, which is very interesting. But what we did see this is very interesting, was a pretty significant correction. Luckily in the Patreon, I alerted when to sell. We were able to sell near the top right here so that you were able to secure some profits. And then we ended up buying the bottom, which was just a beautiful play to see. But what we are seeing right now is that symmetrical triangle pattern. Look at this for Shiba Inu. Symmetrical triangle pattern, which we see very often in this channel. And we are being pushed into this apex, which means we are gonna continue this bullish formation, this bullish pattern, this bullish flag that we are also seeing which means that we will also bounce up out of this pattern most likely and continue to break all time highs. So I'm very confident in the price of Shiba Inu that it is very bullish overall as the community, the Shiba Army, the Shiba Army bought 
that dip quite quickly and does not want to see Shiba Inu down. Now, the Shiba army is very strong. Yes, we could see some downwards movement for a couple of days. We could see some consolidation, which would be very normal and very healthy to see, especially after a 50% pump in two days. So overall, I'm pretty happy with Shiba Inu, I believe, especially as they're doing these NFTs. There's a lot of things happening with Shiba Inu that it will continue to go up and most likely make some massive gains in the year to come or the by the end of the year or the next year. Solana is also continuing. Look at we just broke the all time high, apparently pretty sure we just broke the all time high. Yes, Solana just broke the all time high. Congratulations. It is looking very, very bullish. Most likely they're going to continue in a massive way up. So congratulations to Solana holders. If you got something out of this video, make sure you smash up the like button, blow up the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video. Join the Patreon, check out my Weeble, get those two free stocks for up to $2,300 and I will see you all later. Have a great day.